Hello and thank you for joining me for evening prayer. Let's take a few moments to collect ourselves and then our service will begin on page 115 of the Book of Common Prayer. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and from the Lord Jesus Christ. O God, make speed to save us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Alleluia. O gracious light, pure brightness of the ever-living Father in heaven, O Jesus Christ, holy and blessed, now as we come to the setting of the sun, and our eyes behold the vesper light, we sing your praises, O God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. You are worthy at all times to be praised by happy voices, O Son of God, O Giver of life, and to be glorified through all the worlds. I invite you now to join me in reading Psalm 10 which begins on page 594 of the Book of Common Prayer. Why do you stand so far off, O Lord, and hide yourself in time of trouble? The wicked arrogantly persecute the poor, but they are trapped in the schemes they have devised. The wicked boast of their heart's desire, the covetous curse and revile the Lord. The wicked are so proud that they care not for God. Their only thought is, God does not matter. Their ways are devious at all times. Your judgments are far above out of their sight. They defy all their enemies. They say in their heart, I shall not be shaken. No harm shall happen to me ever. Their mouth is full of cursing, deceit, and oppression. Under their tongue are mischief and wrong. They lurk in ambush in public squares, and in secret places they murder the innocent, they spy out the helpless. They lie in wait like a lion in a covert, they lie in wait to seize upon the lowly. They seize the lowly and drag them away in their net. The innocent are broken and humbled before them. The helpless fall before their power. They say in their heart, God has forgotten, he hides his face. He will never notice. Rise up, O Lord. Lift up your hand, O God. Do not forget the afflicted. Why should the wicked revile God? Why should they say in their heart, You do not care? Surely you behold trouble and misery. You see it and take it into your own hand. The helpless commit themselves to you, for you are the helper of orphans. Break the power of the wicked and evil. Scratch out their wickedness until you find none. The Lord is king forever and ever. The ungodly shall perish from his land. The Lord will hear the desire of the humble. You will strengthen their heart and your ears shall hear. To give justice to the orphan and oppressed. So that mere mortal, mortals may strike terror no more. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning is now, and will be forever. Amen. A reading from the Gospel of Luke. Then they returned and prepared spices and ointments. On the Sabbath they rested according to the commandment, but on the first day of the week at early dawn, they came to the tomb taking the spices they had prepared. They found the stone rolled away from the tomb, but when they went in they did not find the body. While they were perplexed about this, suddenly two men in dazzling clothes stood beside them. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. But the men said to them, Why do you look for the living among the dead? He is not here, but has risen. Remember how he told you while he was still in Galilee that the Son of Man must be handed over to sinners and be crucified and on the third day rise again? Then they remembered his words. And returning from the tomb, they told all this to the eleven 
and to all the rest. Now it was Mary Magdalene, Joanna, Mary the mother of James, and the other women who with them told this to the apostles. But these words seemed to them an idle tale, and they did not believe them. Here ends the reading. Please join me in the Magnificat, which can be found on page 119 of the Book of Common Prayer. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones, and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel, for he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord. He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. He suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day he rose again. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. We'll continue with Suffrages A. Show us your mercy, O Lord, and grant us your salvation. Clothe your ministers with righteousness, Let your people sing with joy. Give peace, O Lord, in all the world, for only in you can we live in safety. Lord, keep this nation under your care, and guide us in the way of justice and truth. Let your way be known upon earth, your saving health among all nations. Let not the needy, O Lord, be forgotten, nor the hope of the poor be taken away. Create in us clean hearts, O God, and sustain us with your Holy Spirit. Be our light in the darkness, O Lord, and in your great mercy, defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Keep watch, dear Lord, with those who work or watch or weep this night, and give your angels charge over those who sleep. Tend the sick, Lord Christ. Give rest to the weary. Bless the dying. Soothe the suffering. Pity the afflicted. Shield the joyous, and all for your love's sake. Amen. I now invite your prayers of intercession and of thanksgiving. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayers. We'll now continue with the general thanksgiving, praying together. Almighty God, Father of all mercies, 
We, your unworthy servants, give you humble thanks for all your goodness and loving kindness to us and to all whom you have made. We bless you for our creation, preservation, and all the blessings of this life, but above all for your immeasurable love and the redemption of the world by our Lord Jesus Christ, for the means of grace and for the hope of glory. And we pray, give us such an awareness of your mercies, that with truly thankful hearts we may show forth your praise, not only with our lips, but in our lives, by giving up ourselves to your service, and by walking before you in holiness and righteousness all our days. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be honor and glory throughout all ages. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask and imagine. Glory to him from generation to generation in the church, and in Christ Jesus forever and ever. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me this evening.